You're watching Table for Two, where we talk to industry leaders who champion innovation and drive change. Today I'm joined by Mark Fook, who is the Executive Director and CEO of Immutep. Immutep is a biotechnology company developing treatments for cancer and autoimmune diseases. Its lead drug candidate is called FD Lagamot Alpha, or FD for short. It strengthens the body's ability to recognize and attack cancer cells. Mark, thanks for joining me and welcome back to the network. Thank you for having me. Firstly, Immutep has just held its 2024 AGM. At a high level, what do you see as the highlights from the past year? Well, that's a difficult question to start with because we had many highlights actually. So on the one hand side, we had the clinical data uh, from uh, INSIGHT 003, a trial in non-sponsored lung cancer and also in head and neck cancer, soft tissue sarcoma. So the trial data is certainly very exciting. We had very good progress in terms of uh, our partnerships. So we had a unique partnership with Merck uh, from the United States. So that was certainly very good. And also we got a lot of support from our shareholders. Despite, I have to say, uh, the biotech roller coaster we, sh we saw in our share price in the second half of this year. Thanks, Mark. Let's move on to some of your clinical results. You have at least half a dozen trials ongoing, so we won't be able to talk about all of them. But let's focus on your trials in lung cancer, which is clearly a disease with a huge addressable market. You have two trials targeting lung cancer, TACTI-004 and INSIGHT-003. What are the difference between these trials? On the one hand side, um, indeed, what you are saying is absolutely right. Uh, non small cell lung cancer, lung cancer overall is the leading cause of cancer death. So there's a high unmet medical need and we have two clinical trials there. Actually three, um, but let's uh, focus on the two you mentioned. Uh, on the one hand side, TACTI-004. This is a very large clinical trial, a traditional phase three. So the large last step in terms of clinical development before you can register the drug. 750 patients, this is about to start. INSIGHT-003 is a smaller clinical trial, about the same patient population than uh, the registration trial. And actually we saw data there, quite exciting data. Could you talk about some of the results you're seeing and provide some context around how these results compare to current treatments? Yeah, of course. Uh, INSIGHT-003 delivered very exciting results, recently uh, press released. We saw, and this is most important for the patients, of course, a median overall survival of 32.8 months in the first patients, those uh, who have been followed up for a longer period of time. And this compares very favorably to what you would typically expect. Uh, this would be around about 22 months. So the data is very exciting and gives very high hopes for the registration clinical trial called TACTI-004. And I should mention that you're partnered with a company called MSD for the TACTI-004 trial. Who are MSD and what's the significance of this partnership? MSD or Merck and Company, as they are called, called in the United States, is a mega cap, uh, give or take 300 billion US dollar um, market cap, of course changing on a daily basis. Um, so they are one of the most successful players in oncology. They market uh, most uh, renowned brand in the pharmaceutical industry, the top selling brand, that's Keytruda. It's also like FT Lagimod Alpha, uh, an immuno oncology drug. And we indeed uh, entered into a clinical trial collaboration with them earlier this year, one of the highlights for sure. Also because it's the first time since more than two and a half years um, that they did such a step. And they did it not with the pharmaceutical industry, but with the biotech out of Australia. So Mark, now in case people forget, it's not all about FD. Immutep also has a compound called IMP761. What sort of conditions are you targeting with this drug and how is it progressing? That's right, Abby. Uh, we do have a drug called IMP761 and that's to switch gears entirely differently positioned than FT Lagimod. Here we talk about autoimmune diseases. Conceptually, in oncology, like with FT Lagimod, you would like to turn up the body's immune system in order to actively fight cancer. Now, in autoimmune diseases, you would like to downmodulate it. And the LEX3 control mechanism actually enables us to do that. And we designed a program called IMP761, took actually around about a decade. And this is designed as a very upstream approach um, because you can think about autoimmune diseases like your own T cells, very important immune cells providing friendly fire to the affected organ systems. And we bring those soldiers, this friendly fire, specifically under control with IMP761. 
We have been working quite a lot in so-called preclinical development, so before you enter uh, the first in human clinical trials. Uh, but this changed middle of this year and we now started a phase one clinical trial. And Mark, what should investors and people just be keeping an eye out for for 2025? There's a lot to expect in 2025, but actually also in the remainder of this year. Um, so we will have, uh, prior to Christmas, um, some data in head and neck cancer from a trial called TACTI-003. And I refer here to a specific cohort where Keytruda doesn't work, the so-called cohort B. Um, so this will come this year, maybe together with a bit and piece of uh, other news. And in 2025, we will have more data in lung cancer and head and neck cancer and breast cancer also, not to forget about that. We will have certainly regulatory approval. And most importantly, we will have the registration trial underway in first line non-small cell lung cancer. Mark Fucht, thank you for your time. Happy. Thank you so much. For more fresh finance news, market movers and expertise, head to sharecafe.com.au. I'm Abby Phillips. See you soon.